All right, guys. Don't mind the washer here, but I'm gonna show you how to make a 100% free tool holder. Just like these right here. This is a simple, really simple project, and it's free. But, you gotta do a little footwork to get it done. Uh, I realized in the, pre the previous video where I was actually doing this project, I didn't really go into detail, or maybe I did not well enough. But check it out. All you gotta do, go to a construction site. Most construction sites, will, you will find this. Or um, hardware stores, I know they throw away, they'll discard pieces. That they cut too short or whatever and you don't need a big piece but pvc pipe you'll find this at most hardware stores now the size is really just dependent on what you need so keep looking at all that but pvc pipe is your main ingredient and if you're looking at doing this then you probably already have the other tools we will use so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got going on all right guys first thing you do is get the tool and the pipe that you need so this pipe is i think it's four inch pipe this is generally big enough for anything you need. This is just a old drill I have laying around that I don't have hung up and I might as well hang it up because I'm not gonna throw it away. Does it fit? That fits. So, what you wanna do, and this is really up to you how you like to do this. You don't need a big section. You know, kinda, kinda set it up against it like that and figure out about the length you'd need. Me, I'm probably gonna cut it somewhere about here because I don't need a big section. I just need enough to house most of the body there and the handle will fall through. So we're gonna cut off about yay. Now, what do you cut it with? Just use a saw. I've got a uh, chop saw right there. I could use that. That would be the better way to do it because of a nice clean cut, but I'm the bearded diver. I don't do anything nice and neat and pretty. It's just gotta be functional. So what I use, sawzall. And yes, I'll show you in a minute this has a home right there and a piece of PVC pipe. <laughs> but, just gotta cut it. Like I say, we'll go somewhere about there. There you go. Now that you have your piece of pipe cut, you're gonna make a slip. This is, this is really probably the only critical part of this. And you can measure, you can do it however you want. I eye this, the first cut doesn't matter. But you're gonna wanna, you know, figure out your distance on this bottom side here. You know what I mean? You want it to be able to go through, but not enough to fall all the way through. So what I do first, is I just take this and make a cut. Now I'm gonna do this over here because this cut is hard, well no. Yeah. I guess it wasn't that hard. Now the first cut doesn't matter. You just need somewhere to get in. But uh, I kind of eyeball this. It's it's about an inch. About an inch will work. I'm just gonna eyeball an inch. It kind of binds up if you do it that way, I guess. Well, you may have to adjust. Smaller is the better way to go, but hey, that was actually freaking perfect. Just like that, man holds it like I say sizing and all that stuff's up to you this piece actually does stretch a little bit I kind of like to have it over the thumb the thumb guard the thumb trigger piece uh, directional piece reverse forward whatever I'm trying to say there I like to have it big enough to where that'll go through it and it holds the body more that way there's not a lot of pressure on that piece I don't know if it really freaking matters but that's how I am look at that little bit of PVC pipe there now this will be your final step. Um, I don't even know what number we're on, but hey, this is your final step, kid. He's got to get you a drill. I like to use the old impact. Let's go this way, because I'm just gonna put it right there on that shelf beside the other ones. But uh, screws, make sure, I guess you can't really, there you go. That's a screw, you've seen screws. Uh, make sure, pay attention to your screw length and all that. I've got it into this. 
but this is like my media shelf there's a tv right here you know you don't want it too long because then you go up into your xbox or whatever you got going on out here so pay attention to your screw length because the first one i ran i ran it I, I was anticipating it but i ran it right through the shelf so you just don't want to do that but i like to use an impact impact is the easiest way to go for me i think but all you need is screw and these things aren't heavy so i just use one screw but i pretty much just get everything pre pre ready to go yeah just get it started through just like that and then make sure we can see stick it where you want it get it all lined up And there you go. That is really simple. Let's see, this is a five minute section I can see. So within five minutes we made a tool holder. And like I say, you could do this better than me. I just, let me get this blade out. I just rough cut it and go. But there is my little tool holder section. Up, out of the way, easy to grab, easy. DIY, free tool holder. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, or don't.